Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, you might be thinking that some of us these days are a bit of a lunatic for driving around in cars that do virtually single figures to the gallon. So today, what we've done for a change is we've come to an actual old lunatic asylum, somehow fitting as to what we're driving around these days in the current climate. Now, the place we've come to today is uh, the old St Mary's Hospital in Stannington, just outside of Morpeth. The building you can see there, if I zoom in on it, uh, that building there, which today is St Mary's Inn, that's all that's left of the original hospital. And uh, that's the pub now. The original hospital was uh, covered the houses next to it on either side there. So before we get and have a look at all the cars that are here, I'll throw a couple of photos in of um, what it used to look like originally. And uh, we'll go through a bit of history on the place and then we'll get around and have a look at some of the cars that are here. Now all these photographs show St Mary's Hospital in its dilapidated state and its derelict state not long before it was closed in 1995 and then finally demolished in 2015. And uh, all photographs are uh, available online courtesy of the Evening Chronicle and you can find more information on the asylum and many other county asylums in, uh, in the northeast of the UK and in Northumberland at countyasylums.co.uk. So St Mary's Hospital was a mental health facility in Stanington, Northumberland, in England. It was opened in 1910 and closed permanently in 1995, finally being demolished, or parts of it being demolished, in 2015. The facility itself was designed by George Thomas Hine. Construction started in 1910 and it opened as the Gateshead Borough Lunatic Asylum in 1914. The hospital was requisitioned for military use during the First World War and then became Gateshead County Borough Mental Hospital in 1920. A nurse's home was completed in 1928, as well as various other additions to the site. Part of the hospital was also requisitioned for military use during the Second World War. The hospital then joined the National Health Service in 1948. After services transferred to Bensham General Hospital, the hospital in Stanton closed in 1995. Most of the hospital was demolished in 2015 to make way for housing. However, some of the buildings still remain in varying forms, including the 34 former staff houses known locally as the Villas, and also the former gatekeeping lodge, the chief medical superintendent's home, and the administration block. Now, the administration block is what you can see today, and um, that's been refurbished and is now known as St Mary's Inn in Stanningman. And apparently, it is supposed to be haunted, although the member of staff that I was speaking to when we were uh, earlier on said she's never seen anything at all as yet. Well, that's something you want to see often on a day-to-day -day basis, a convertible Bentley. Next is gorgeous Corvette. Sierra Cosworth. That was the Mini. Remember the old Volvo 200 series? Lovely Rover, I believe that's a P2, or oh, I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong. And then this is amazing, Vauxhall Victor, 1972-73. Yeah. Of course, you can't miss the 69 Mustang. Absolutely gorgeous. In case you're watching this, Paul, hello. Thank you. There's definitely some amazing cars here today, and the variation is unbelievable. Ford will triumph Toledo here. There's some modern stuff like the Aston Martin. Mercedes convertible, the Honda NSX. P5, the ultimate bank manager's car, absolutely gorgeous. Though. Mark II Escort, absolutely gorgeous. I know you're going to be watching this, Colin, so hi, love the car. And then, of course, a gorgeous pair of Mark III Cortinas. GXL with the brown one, GT the yellow one. Sierra Cosworth again. Amazing Pontiac GT37. 
bring it up tight, otherwise yeah. it was difficult to get at. Uh, I'm gonna put that uh, and then there's this. Now I know a lot of you purists and original lovers might be loving that. Or is it just me that's seen that convert into a camper with a huge V8 slammed on the ground? Feel free to comment whether you think I'm right or not. And of course the MG Club's here as well. Amazing Saab here. Lovely looking Morgan, which hopefully you can appreciate the colour in the sun. It's really sparkling when the sun's on it. And another brace of MGs, which do wrap right around the corner. And there's one over here sitting all on its own. TR6 and a local Rover P4 which is absolutely amazing condition wise next to a fully restored classic Range Rover and once again my vehicle of choice for today and a couple of minis there's Mal's RS Focus I know you watch the video as well. Hello to you as well. Lotus Alan. Another MG. And finally, the Robin Hoods here again. And of course, if you're into your old American muscle, this gorgeous 69 Cheval, it is a true SS with the 396. Absolutely gorgeous. Owned by a friend of mine, name it Ian. I'm not too sure if you'll be watching the video or not, Ian, but if you are, hello. Well, I have to say, guys, what an amazing day that's been. Fantastic weather, some great cars. Hopefully, we enjoyed this one. If you have, thanks for watching. If you found it entertaining, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And for me for now, bye bye, see you in the next one.